12. The team record now stands at 3 and 0. Oh. And WSP's Carl Deffenbaugh joining us live now with more on those new rankings out today. And that start, it's actually the third time that Notre Dame has started 3 and 0 oh since the Lou Holtz era. So this is pretty rare. Wow. They've done it twice now, though, under Brian Kelly in his five years. Kelly preached caution today, though. We're, of course, just three games into a long season, and the toughest opponents are still to come for the Irish. But thanks to their unblemished mark, ND is now ranked ninth in the country in both the AP and coaches poll. Highest, they've been, highest they have been since they finished the 2012 season at number four. Florida State still at the top. ASU, Stanford, and USC right in a row, 15 through 17. And two other future opponents, North Carolina and Louisville, are receiving votes. The latest jump for the Irish was uh, part of a, after a perfect but ultimately successful trip to Indianapolis after that 30 to 14 win over Purdue last night. Sporting those Shamrock Series unis, Everett Golson had three total touchdowns again to lead the offense. And the defense stiffened in the second half, shutting out the Boilermakers over the final two periods. Notre Dame dealt with myriad injuries and ejection even, and young players thrust into big roles. But Brian Kelly was happy with the way his team handled all those issues. I was proud of the way our team responded to adversity for the first time. We're playing a lot of young guys. Uh, we had some injuries today. Guys uh, stepped up and uh, responded to that first, that first sign of, of adversity that a team has to handle and respond to. And I thought we did a great job. Any win, you know, we're, we're very satisfied and, and very, um, you know, very happy, very excited to uh, have the, for, the first quarter out the way, you know, 3-0. and So it's really just about, you know, tomorrow and Monday, just assessing, and it's all about the recovery now. That word recovery, they do have the extra week now with the bye until they face Syracuse on uh, September 27th mm -hmm. will be the next game. We're going to have much more in sports, including about those injuries, some updates on the guys that went down last night.